Hello YouTubers, Daniel here for the Smoky Mountain Gun Show and I believe I have got a hankering to trick out um, my AR. I really like the look of, of just a standard GIM4 um, but I really want to um, make this thing as tricked out as I possibly can and uh, on this video I'm going to start. I've already added a couple things already like this Black Hawk Ergo Grip here and um, I added a um, carry handle uh, Picatinny mount here. Um, I was going to mount my red dot to this um, and I did and it's just too high. Um, you know I, could, I thought about putting like a um, cheek riser um, for it but um, but for right now, um, I don't have one. Uh, maybe getting a different butt stock or something with a riser. Um, but for right now, the red dot sits too high. I have to do like this. And um, of course, it's very high compared to your your uh, bore axis. And um, I mean, it would it takes a lot for me to sight that in. Um, just doing just you know just a dry raw sight in you know out on the range. Uh, so, uh, I'm still using iron sights as well. What I uh, really uh, want to do to this uh, AR is get rid of the carry um, carry handle, um, get rid of the GI sights here, put me a gas block on here, um, put me a red dot set up with uh, flip up and down uh, iron sights for backup sights. Um, and I'm going to put a quad rail forehand um, and that's that's pretty much as about as much as I want to go might give me a different looking uh, uh, flash hider uh, but um, for right now I'm taking it slow as far as you know financial can't really afford to trick it out all the way right yet so right now I changed out the grip I put me a little riser on here and on this video I'm going to be changing out the hand guards here for a quad rail and I'm going to show you what kind of quad rail I got uh, quad rail sorry I got right now okay this is the uh, quad rail I purchased it is a um, global military gear uh, aluminum quad rail that come with the um, little rubber guards on it I purchased this from my local shop gun rack um, for $49.95. Okay, I thought that was a pretty good deal um, for an aluminum handguard. I looked at the Black Hawks, they're like $120. Uh, I looked at the uh, ATGs, they were up there $100 range. A lot of them were riding around the $100 range. This one was $49.95 and it says um, two piece aluminum bolts together for strength, drop in installation for a secure fit. And that's what I like about it is drop in. So uh, we're going to install this thing right now and see how drop in it is. Okay, here we go. Um, sorry guys, uh, my, my freaking shop, oops, sorry. My shop is a mess. Um, I had it cleaned up. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but uh, I apologize for um, the condition of my shop. Um, uh, like I said, I try to keep it clean, but uh, everybody knows how it is. When you work on stuff, stuff starts to pile up. Let me take these dangly keys off here. Okay. Uh, first thing, what we're going to do is just do a safety check, just to be sure. There's no rounds. I never have any rounds in this thing anyway. Um, so, we're going to want to have to take off these hand guards. Now, sometimes this can be a teetotal pain. Um, but I have, there's a little tool you can use, but I haven't got one. So I'll show you a little trick um, how to take them off. Okay, um, what I usually use, um, I have a pair of channel locks. I can't find them right now. But what I use is any kind of channel lock or pliers. These are actually wire snippers um, that have any kind of rubberized um, handle on it like this. This works fairly well. Now, this might not show up on camera. It might not translate as well. And it, if it doesn't, what I usually do, because if you sit and try to do this by hand, I mean, that delta ring is unforgiving and it's about near impossible. So what I do, and I'm sure there's probably better methods, um, but this is what works for me right now. What I'll do is I'll stand the rifle on its end, like so. And when I got it standing on its end, I will take my channel locks or pliers and tightly secure it around that and pull down on it 
while it's pulled down, I'll pull the hand guards off. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not, but we'll give it a try. Okay, here we go. Wait, I'll do it like this. There's one hand guard. And there's two. All right. Now we have removed the GI style hand guards, which I really like a lot. I really like the way they feel. I like the way they look and everything. But I want to try out this quad rail. So uh, I'm going to pause and uh, open up this package here and get everything out. Okay, guys, got the package open. It came with, of course, the hand guards. Come with these three rubber guards here. I'm not too big of a fan of these, the way they look. Um, not in general, but just these that it come with. Um, I don't like that the logo, uh, Global Military Gear logo is in the middle there. I like to have one that didn't have that, just plain Jane looking. So, I don't know. We'll put it on there and see how they look. They come with the four bolts, and it come with this little... Uh, Allen wrench, just in case you didn't have one. I don't use I don't use that kind. I use my key, uh, and I'm guessing it's a 764th, and it is. It's exactly what size it is. So I'm going to use that. Now it says it's drop in. Okay. So uh, on these, um, I've, I'm pretty sure um, all I got to do is just drop it in. I don't think I'm going to have to use this um, because the way it's set up. I could probably just push down on that delta ring with that and it'll slide right in the way these things are made. So we'll see here. Um, this is the top. We'll fit the top in first. Come on now. That is the top, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Is that the top? Yes. Fit it over the gas tube. Slide it in its place. Slide down. There we go. Okay. There we go. The bottom. This has to be... You never trust anything that says drop in. <laughs> and I can see I probably am going to have a problem here. Nope. Dropped right in. Okay. Yeah, that was drop in, guys. That was simple as pie. Now let's secure it with the bolts. Which I think bolt from the top. Yes. They do. They bolt from the top. Okay, guys. Woo, she's looking good. I really like that. That looks so cool. That looks awesome. Okay, guys. I went to go put the guards on. Didn't really like it too much. Didn't like the way it looked. But I like the way this looks. And that was simple. That was very drop-in. I like it. I think it looks very cool. And it was simple, so. And it's pretty good. I mean, it's aluminum. We'll see how it holds up. So anyway, guys. Uh, it was a, uh, what was it? Global Military Gear. Uh, quad rail. Uh, the guards that it come with aren't too attractive. I don't like them. Um, don't like the way they look. So, but uh, anyway, guys, there it is. Um, simple drop in hand guard for my Rock River Arms uh, AR. Uh, it's been Daniel for the Smoky Mountain Gun Show. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so. Carry on the Second Amendment rights bestowed upon us all. And as always, you guys have a very nice day.